everybody and welcome to the channel. Hey, today we're taking a look at a great looking new vintage inspired micro brand. This is the Goodspeed Sonoma Chronograph, named after the Sonoma Raceway in California. Hey, look, if you're like a fan of racing or you like vintage style watches or you're just a collector, this one might be the one for you. They are limited edition, 400 pieces, mechanical pieces, and 400 quartz pieces are going to be available. And then that's it. And they are at a crazy good price, I might add, for this quality of a watch. Very, very good quality. Very, very good price. I'm going to leave a link to their kickstart below in the description. Please be sure to check them out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. This does have a 316L stainless steel case. This is PVD coated, kind of a matte finish on the top around the lug area with a glossy finish on the sides. You do have the glossy pushers, um, push-pull crown with some nice gnarling on it for gripping action. And this is a hand winding movement. We're gonna get it at, into that in a minute. This does have a sapphire crystal on this model here. Uh, this is the mechanical version and a mineral crystal on the quartz version. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, it does come in a whole bunch of different color combos. There's a stainless steel and black, uh, stainless steel Pepsi, black on black and black Pepsi. I'll throw a shot up there so you can see those. The dial very and very nice dial if we can zoom in here a little closer you can see good speed right under the 12 o'clock position with chronograph right above the six o'clock position and that red lollipop second hand running around there out to the chapter ring with second markers around there very nice very well done the left sub dial is a 60 second counter and the right sub dial is a 30 minute counter. I do have the chronograph second hand running right now. And we'll do a reset of that just so you can see it. We'll stop it and reset. It has a nice snap back retrieve. Very, very cool indeed. I also wanted to mention this does have a polished stationary bezel with a tachymeter on the upper edge of the bezel. Very nice contrast with that polishing to the matte finished lugs and the polished side. Very well done. Looks really, really good. This one here is, like I said, the mechanical movement and it's running the Seagull ST1901 movement. Uh, very good movement. And very good price on these watches. Um, we'll get, like I said, we'll get into that in a minute. The uh, the quartz uh, movement is the Miyota 6S21 quartz movement. Uh, this mechanical movement, by the way, has 19 joules and a 40-hour power reserve, so that's pretty awesome. Does have some loom. I am not 100% sure. I'll throw a shot up for you on what kind of loom that they use to coat the indices with and the uh, lollipop second hand, but it's very nice loom indeed. All of these models uh, come with this very, very cool Italian racing style strap, which is uh, very high quality, good stitching, nice hardware. Um, it does have good speed etched in the end of the buckle, some nice keepers, super comfortable on the wrist. I've had this on a little bit. And I really, really like it. You can also opt for, I think it's like a $45 option. You can get a beads of rice bracelet uh, matching to whatever uh, color case you get. So that's very cool. You get a stainless steel, I believe, or a black beads of rice. I love those bracelets. And I love this one. They, they are both very, very comfortable. Screw down case back. Uh, stainless steel polish for sure have some specs around there the sapphire crystal the seagull 1901 movement uh, and the water resistance of 100 meters which is a good water resistance for this guy uh, you don't have to worry about getting wet or thrown in the pool with that hey let's get into some specs 
46.5 millimeters lug to lug this way. 20 millimeters lug to lug this way or bandwidth, 42 millimeter case that's without the crown, and a 13.5 millimeter thickness. Hey, let's get this on my 7 inch wrist for a wrist shot. All right, guys, there you have it on my 7 inch wrist. Looks really, really good. I love the comfort of this band, and uh, I do own a Beads of Rice bracelet. They are also comfortable. Probably well worth the upgrade on this one. Like I said before, these are at a great, great price. So get to their kickstart. For the Mechanical Seagull Movement, you're talking $275, and the quartz, $135. You can't beat it for this quality of a watch, let me tell you. Hey, that's my look at the Good Speed Sonoma Chronograph. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would appreciate it. And as always, stay well.